Hey folks, Rob here. And tonight, I put these uh, premium gun grips on them, uh, the Ruger Wrangler. And this this little, this is for YouTube right here. YouTube. This is in no means a modification of this firearm. This is a cleaning and maintenance video um, that I hope that you, people who review these, will learn a little bit about what is normal firearms maintenance after firing your firearm it's important that you clean it and inspect it and keep it in safe operating condition or it can become a hazard to yourself or or uh, bystanders so this is an important part of gun ownership is gun maintenance keeping your guns uh, clean and in proper working order okay so i hope that helps the people that watch these videos and just decide whether they're uh, fit for YouTube or not. So I put the grips on here and uh, it came with a little warning uh, thing that said, you know, that uh, not to get oil or WD-40 or su such solvents on these grips. Well, now we all know that guns and oil go hand in hand together. But now this is a Cerakote finish. So the gun itself is, you know, fairly rust resistant. This gun is it's not going to rust. Uh, uh, the only parts that might rust would be the cylinder. Uh, you could get a little bit on your hammer and trigger, but I, that's that would take a whole lot. But uh, as far as the rest of the gun goes, you know, there's not a lot of need to oil this gun externally. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give us a typical cleaning, like I would if I, regardless of the grips, and uh, we're going to see if we have any problems with the grips. Now, in order to clean a single action revolver, and uh, this is the kind of YouTube that was used uh, in the 1800s, so this is by no means a modern design. So you would rotate your cylinder, checking each cylinder to make sure it's safe. Now with the Ruger, you don't have to put it on half cock, but a lot of them you would. If it's a heritage, you'd bring it back two clicks. So you depress your Take down pin here, which holds your your uh, cylinder pin, and you pull out and remove your cylinder pin. Okay, then your cylinder will come out the side, and there you have basically this gun broke down as far as you would need to clean it. So we're just going to go ahead and clean this gun. I have me a cleaning cloth here, and I have my old standard. Uh, Hoppy's number nine here. And we're going to take our little toothbrush and apply a little hoppies to our cylinder. We want to get all the the built-up carbon deposits off of our cylinder. Uh, this can cause your revolver to hang up or make it difficult to load. And, you know, uh, so it's very important to clean your, your firearms. Uh, a lot of people don't clean them after every shooting. And it depends on how much and, you know, how much you've shot and how dirty the loads are you're shooting. There's a lot of variables, but, you know, I typically don't clean mine every single time. So what we're going to use here is our boar snake. This is the Hoppy's 22 caliber boar snake. And uh, this is the pistol snake. And this was sent to us by our good friend, Mark Thomas, over at Mark Thomas. Uh, that's his YouTube page. So Mark sent me this pistol, uh, cleaning, uh, je uh, boar snake here. And we're going to go through each one of our cylinders here on our cylinder and clean each one. Trying to make sure we go through a different one every time. I usually forget and go through one several times. But I'm just going to run our boar snake through there to clean out the cylinders. And give each one of them a cleaning. That way your the new ammunition you load in goes in smoothly and you don't have any binding. Uh, a, a 22 caliber is a very dirty caliber to shoot. So a lot of guns build up carbon pretty quick and makes them difficult to load. And uh, these are no exception. You know, after a few hundred rounds, they start getting a little hard to to push in the cylinder. I've never had it to where they wouldn't go, but they can get a little little difficult. 
So I think we like one more. If I haven't lost where I was at. Can't tell, I think. That's I can't talk and think and focus at the same time. It's what happens when you get old. So we're gonna clean up our cylinder. And that looks pretty good. I think that was it. And I'm going to wipe off my cylinder. Get the carbon off the front. Get our cylinder nice and clean. And I'm going to lay that aside. You can see there. We got it fairly clean. It ain't focusing, am I? Well, that's pretty good. Got most of our carbon off. Now we'll just wipe down our our takedown pin, our cylinder pin. Lay those aside. Now I do have a little bit of oil on my hand, but we are going to take our little toothbrush with our hoppies here and clean the front of our forcing cone. Get that powder deposits off our forcing cone. Clean along the top of the strap, the back. And give that a wipe down with our cleaning rag. And honestly, guys, that's about all there is to cleaning a revolver. Not a whole lot more. Now, I have oil on my fingers. You can see there, my fingers are shiny. We're getting a little bit on the, and I'm not purposely trying to destroy these. Uh, you know, I paid for these and I don't want to destroy them, but I don't want people to be concerned that, oh God, if I get a drop of oil on them, they're just going to, the cover color is going to come off. And as you can see, that's not happening. So, but it's probably something you wouldn't want to spray WD-40 or uh, break free or anything, break cleaner or anything like that on it probably would and it might over time anyway but you know all things fade so if they fade a little bit that's fine with me makes them look more nostalgic all right so we've got our gun put together here so i like to take a drop just put a drop of oil just just a little bit and just drop in the middle of the cylinder there i'm going to Take and put a drop here and a drop here on my hand. Maybe a drop here on the loading gate. And that's pretty much it. Reinsert the cylinder. I am going to put one drop of oil on my, my cylinder pin. Set it in place. Push my takedown pin. And insert that until it locks in. Now, there's enough residual oil on that that I can rub my cylinder down. And give it a little wipe. I always like to come in right here. Put a drop right there. A drop right there. And a drop right there on the transfer bar just enough to get a and then chest it for function now that gun is cleaned and ready to go back and be shot and I see absolutely nothing wrong with the grips there the color still no fading, no chipping, no peeling. Uh, there's no nowhere where it's moving or anything like that. And I do have oil on my fingers. So I'm guessing that if you just don't intentionally put a lot of oil or solvents on these, that these will stay that bright, shiny, nice looking for a long time. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to make this video because some people were a little bit concerned 
about having a, uh, a grip that uh, you couldn't use oil or solvents to uh, on it. So I, I figured they would be more uh, durable to solvents than what they uh, typically warn you about. I wouldn't make a habit of it, but I don't think cleaning your gun in a normal manner will cause any problems with these grips. And if you do need to clean your gun further than that, take your grips off. It ain't like it's a, you know, a big deal. Just take one screw out, take your grips off, clean your gun as thoroughly as you want. And uh, there you go. Put them back on. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching. And until the next video, we'll see you later.